This one's God loves you very much. I'm Bob the Tomato, and I've got some news. It's wonderful, excellent, no time to snooze. God made you special, but there's but here is the rest. He loves you so much, he thinks you're the best. Does God think that you're the best? <laughs> I went to the airport yesterday to see planes taken off. Did you see that Zach had saw the spaceship on the weekend? Yeah. Zach went on a spaceship last weekend. Zach went on a spaceship last weekend? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. Okay, so we have just seen how some stories can get just a little exaggerated as they go on. But do you know what? This morning we are talking about how Jesus told stories in the Bible. Um, and every single one of his stories had a good message for us to learn from, um, which is exciting, isn't it? They were good stories for us to listen to and for us to learn from every single one of them. And in the Bible, Jesus's stories are called parables. Can we all say that together? Parables. Okay. Um, and they are stories that Jesus told to teach us important lessons about the kingdom of heaven. Wow. Okay, so let's have a think about some of these questions. First of all, who likes stories? Me. 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 I like stories. Um, what are some of your favourite kinds of stories to read Me. Me. and listen to? Me. Mm. I've got a few, probably. Have you got a few that you like to? Yeah? Me. We've probably got a few favourite stories, haven't we? You're probably thinking of one right now. Um, and why do you think we we like stories so much? Why do we like stories so much, Hope? Because they're, because they're fun. They are fun. fun. They're fun to listen to, aren't they, stories? And we can get really into them and really into the moment oh, yeah. when we're reading oh. a story. So we get to use our imaginations as well, don't we? And learn new things through stories. So that's exciting as yeah. well. And we also have, we have an easier time uh, remembering things when we learn through a story. Can you think of anything else, Hope? Well, stories stick with us. Stories stick with us as well, absolutely. So, why do you think Jesus told stories then? Jesus is a really great teacher. Do you think he looked like this? Um, hmm, I'm not sure what Jesus would have had a chalkboard um, or a computer for that matter, actually. Um, but Jesus taught very important lessons in a lot of different ways. And one of the ways he used a lot was through telling his stories. So today we're going to look at why Jesus taught through stories, which are called parables. Parables. So let's try and remember that word, okay, <clears throat> by the end. So you may have heard some of Jesus's stories before. We've talked about them in our coasters at Coastlands before, um, so you may have heard about some of them. Now, the Word of God, which we know is the Bible, the truth that we read um, daily uh, to keep us going in our lives, it is alive and it is powerful. And it says so in Hebrews, so we open our Bibles to the to Hebrews, which is in the New Testament, and it's chapter 4, verse 12, and this is what it says. It says, for the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. 
Now this means that even if we read the same Bible stories over and over again, there is always something new to learn. Whoa. Whoa. Always something new to learn. However many times we have read the same story in the Bible, there's always new stuff um, that when we read familiar stories that we can learn from, okay? And even as grown-ups, even as grown-ups, it's the same for us too. So, why did Jesus choose to teach in parables then, Hope? Tell us. Well, Jesus was a well-known man. Lots and lots of people came to listen to what he had to say. You're right. They really did. Lots of people came. He had crowds of people come when he was teaching because they wanted to hear him. But not all of these people were really interested in learning anything from Jesus. Funny, isn't it? Hmm. Some of the people came to listen to Jesus because they were hoping to see him do a miracle, like one of these. they wanted to see this man who everyone was so excited about. Then there were the religious leaders and the Pharisees who didn't want to learn from Jesus at all. They just wanted to try and catch him saying something wrong so that they could get him arrested. <sighs> so all sorts of people that we just heard came out to hear Jesus. Only the people who were really interested in learning about the kingdom of heaven and salvation were able to understand the stories that Jesus told. No one else could understand what Jesus was teaching in his parables because their hearts were hardened towards God. Now, Jesus did not always teach in parables. He often said things very directly to people, right out so that everyone could understand. The parables, remember, which are the stories Jesus told, were different. Because we are supposed to want to learn more and we are supposed to work hard to understand what these stories have to say. So in order to understand the parables, we have to keep an open mind and eager to learn new things about God and the kingdom of heaven. And we have to have soft, soft, humble hearts, willing to change the way we feel and therefore the way we act around people and situations in our lives. Fantastic. Let's all go away. What was that word called again? Jesus' stories? Parables. Yes. Let's hope you remember that for this morning. Okay, well, we're going to pull up our chairs and we're going to get ready for Craft Time with her. is the parables of Jesus. So what you need to get is a piece of card in the middle where the parables of Jesus, decorate it nicely and write all the parables of Jesus. So counting the costs, the rich fool, the, um, the slaves given talents and all other ones that you can find. There we go, that's fantastic. So all the parables of Jesus, write them all down or you can print them off the computer however you like stick them all around there and write parables of jesus stick it up on your wall or something so that we remember those stories that jesus told us and the importance that they still have in our lives today fantastic thanks hope well <laughs> and we have loved this morning and we hope you have too um, and we just hope you have a really fantastic and blessed week ahead. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.